People do oftentimes ask, well, what does it taste like? Well, it is whatever animal you're eating. So if you're eating clean meat chicken, uh, since it is chicken, it tastes like chicken. The two big questions in agriculture right now is how are we going to feed 9.7 billion people by 2050, and what are we going to do about climate change? One of the absolute necessary requirements of decreasing climate change is to decrease meat consumption. Clean meat is meat that is grown directly from animal cells and represents a total and complete reevaluation and technological update to what farming and slaughter look like. Every aspect of it is radically transformed. We are already producing real animal meat, milk, and eggs without having to raise and slaughter animals. Take a cell from an animal's muscle, proliferate that cell in a fermenter that makes the cell think that it is still in the animal's body, so it'll keep on growing. We can then harvest that muscle and form it into ground meat products that are the same as the meat that is eaten today, except it's a lot safer and a lot more efficient. It is environmentally so much better, causes up to 95% less climate change, uses much less water, much less land, so it's literally clean meat there are going to be more and more scientific breakthroughs. So for example, as 3D printing technology becomes more and more advanced, uh, just like right now, you've got the sort of fancy coffee machines and you can program a wide variety of coffees. Uh, you could program the 3D printer to create the steak to precisely the fat content you want. You want a full turkey? Uh, if there's a market for that, they'll create 3D printers that can give you a full turkey probably a little bit further off, but it's certainly, it's certainly within the realm of possibilities.